Paul, I think a lot of people are asking about iRobot. Do you want to? So I actually, I want to do iRobot. And the reason being is... Um, we had some people outside of our patrons and wanted, they wanted to hear this too. I well. sold some iRobot puts yesterday. $2.1 billion company. PE of 14. So check mark there. Very nice. Profit margin, 22.5 cents. Seven, that, check mark right? there. Yeah, great. How about uh, revenue growth over the past five years? Revenue growth. 620 million to 1.2 billion. Almost doubling. That's awesome. Yeah, 44 ahead, ahead. profit. 85 check marks. They doubled their profit. Nice. How about um, number of shares outstanding? Pillar number five, we want this going down. 29.55 down to 28, but it went down to 27.7, 27.6, 27.7, and back jumped up. up. So it's technically a check mark, but find out if there was an acquisition made here or something that caused them to issue more shares. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like that, but we'll see. Current assets greater than current liabilities. Pillar number six. 265. 808 versus 265. Wow. Wait. Wow. Okay. So guys, total liabilities. 808 minus total liabilities of 335. That is $470 million more. If you remember, the company was 2.2. We got to take out the 0.47. We're left with $1.73 billion for the company. So now all the numbers are shifted down 20%. So it goes from 15 PE down to a 12 PE. Because when you're buying the company now, you're buying $800 billion, million in cash with only $335 million in debt. You're getting an extra $470 million right then and there. Do you follow what I'm saying here? They have 470 in the bank. So if you buy the company for 2.2. They have a net 470 in the bank. So if you buy it for 2.2, you're actually paying 1.7. Free cash flow, pillar number seven. All right, you ready, Seth? Um, um, see, every time you ask me if I'm ready, I got to fire my phone up. Go ahead. 16, 106, 53, 39, 95. They're all over the place, Paul. Yep. Average? 62. Okay. This is big increasing, guys. This is big time increasing. If you oh. just multiply it by 20, you get 1.2 billion. And we needed a value of 1.7 after cash. So it shows less than it should be. That's 1.7. It's showing $1.2 billion is 20 times free cash flow. But guys, I'm not exactly going to say that's right. I actually wonder if it's still... It, let's see how they did the last 12 months. They probably jumped up a lot in the last 12 months. Ooh, wow. Last 12 months, they did 220, $225 billion in free cash flow. Wow. They jumped up a lot during this downturn. I sold uh, puts on iRobot. I don't remember what price, but I did sell them. I don't know if I'm against this company even right now. I mean, if you believe the iRobot story, so this is the caveat I'm saying. If you believe iRobot will be the leader or be a good company for a long period of time and grow their revenue on these robotic um, vacuums, vacuums, and I, I don't see why this is a bad buy now. Look at the momentum. Okay, it just crossed over. The 200 day just crossed over roughly here. So it's a little bit down since you would have bought. And look at this. Just to show how it can go up and down all the time. You would have sold right here at roughly 63 and you would have bought back again at 75. So that just goes to show that the momentum thing has to be done consistently and over long periods of time.